I keep hoping that I can share the beauties of the natural world with you guys and wonderful things keep happening. So today I want to share with you a wonderful sighting, a deer sighting and a story about deer illustrated by some of your friends. And I want to encourage you to maybe tell me a story about your favorite animals and capture any sightings you have of them and share them with all of us. Are you ready to get going? Look at that. Let's go find a special gift. A deer. Oh, these are some beautiful deer. Let's see if we can get you close enough to see them. They're just behind the trees here. gift. What a gift. They're here enjoying their breakfast. What gentle, beautiful creatures. I want to tell you a story about deer that I heard a long time ago from some friends of mine whose ancestors have lived on this land for far longer than mine have. It's the story of deer and loving kindness. When I was a little girl, I heard this story and it was my favorite of all the medicine stories I heard as a child. So once upon a time, there was deer. Deer is soft and gentle and she heard the great spirit calling from on top of sacred mountain. So the great spirit is love. And she heard love calling and the mystery of love calling from on top of spirit mountain. So she immediately set off to climb spirit mountain. And as she was climbing, she was nibbling the plants around her in the grass. And she came to a, an intersection where she had to walk through a small little valley and Guarding that valley was a big, huge, horrible monster growling and yelling and bellowing. And Deer looked at the monster and was not afraid. Well, this was very surprising to the monster because the monster had stood there at the threshold of the valley of Sacred Mountain for a long time. And the monster was trying to convince all the creatures of the world to be afraid of one another and that the spirit, uh, great spirit on Spirit Mountain could not be accessed no matter what. It had never once seen a creature who wasn't afraid of it. But deer, no matter what monster did, just kept looking with love at monster because the deer's heart could only see what was in the deer's heart, which was love. And the monster yelled and he screamed and he bellowed and he breathed fire, he did everything he could. Still, deer just stood there staring with deer's heart loving. And do you know what happened? That monster, his body began to shrink and his heart began to melt until his body became the size of a walnut. He disappeared from Spirit Mountain and to this day all of the creatures can pass through to Spirit Mountain anytime they follow Deer's lead because Deer reminds us that the way to love is loving. Did you like the story? It's one of my favorites and I want to thank all my friends who added their drawings to make the story so beautiful and I want to ask you and encourage you to think about the animals around you as special medicine animals and how you might draw them or illustrate a story. And then please, if you do, will you share it with me? Stay curious, keep loving, and I'll see you here soon.
okay, I have to tell you a funny outtake story. An outtake is when um, things that didn't make it in the video. I'm sitting here telling you the story and I looked at the ground. Do you know what I saw on the ground? Can you see that right there? Let's see, that's deer poop. I'm sitting in a bunch of deer poop. I thought you guys would think that was very funny. You tend to think that's funny. Anytime we talk about poo, it's funny. I guess we have to deal with that too.